One's biggest concern with the massive immigration of specifically civil engineering skills that we've seen in recent years and the lack of uh, ability to transfer skills to youngsters who are qualifying in that area is the problem that we encounter is that if should there be a pickup in investment activity and infrastructural projects want to get going uh, we're going to struggle to implement them as readily as we would have been able to do in the past and that is of great concern. We've got a lot of data that point to the likelihood of massive infrastructural investment projects being in the pipeline. Uh, we had uh, government, Sidul uh, Ramaphosa, uh, announcing in the economic reconstruction and uh, 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 recovery program in October 2020, 340 billion rands worth of infrastructural investment, 51 projects. We had uh, Enoch Godongwana announcing in the November 2021 budget, uh, mini budget, another 595 billion rands worth of projects. Uh, uh, 55 projects. We had the announcement by Ramaphosa in last year's Sona of 100 billion rand infrastructural uh, fund. We had Ramaphosa in after the last investment summit commenting on the fact that 1.4 trillion rands worth of investment has been uh, earmarked. Uh, but we have not seen this coming uh, into the numbers at all and this is an absolute shame. There are many factors that contribute to it, to including the lack of capacity within uh, municipalities and uh, provinces to take decisions on and implement these projects. Uh, there's also the uh, emigration of skills that has made implementation so much more difficult, but also criminal activity that has been absolutely rife for some time now, but seems to be escalating with uh, uh, crime syndicates uh, embarking upon theft and sabotage of infrastructural projects and the so-called construction mafia trying to impose extortion, all impairing the ability of these hundreds of billions of rands worth of investment projects that have been earmarked in the pipeline actually coming to fruition. The reality is that if those projects were converted into uh, reality, those planned projects were converted into reality. It would be a game changer for the direction of the South African economy overnight. Uh, it, if you consider that total fixed capital formation runs at around uh, 880 billion rand a year and we're talking about investment projects worth hundreds of billions of rands, you can immediately see that implementation of these projects will lead to double-digit growth in capital investment and an escalation in uh, GDP growth to five, six, seven percent per annum, which would be accompanied by huge levels of employment creation. Uh, given that the construction sector specifically uh, employs three times as many people uh, relative to its uh, uh, in proportion to its size of, uh, in, of GDP in the economy. It is the most labor intensive uh, project. It would be able to absorb a lot of unskilled labor if these projects were to get going. It would change the direction of the South African economy and have the ad added benefit of improving service delivery for the masses of the people, which itself would have knock-on effects in generating far more economic activity through the rest of the economy.